facing his second of two rank wrestlers because Fabian Gutierrez getting set to go against Killian Cardinal, who has been pacing for the last 15 minutes, I think. Tony, ready to go, ready to get back after it after off-season shoulder surgery. Starting with class. Well, you know, that's part of it, right? I mean, part of the issue in coming back, especially being at home, is you got to manage that front-end energy, right? You're really excited, and you got to figure out how you're regulating directly. He's got a lot of experience in doing that, but I know he's just happy to be back on the mat. Matchup of two NCAA qualifiers from a year ago. Killian Cardinal going for West Virginia. Off-season shoulder surgery. First All-American under Tim Flynn here at WVU. Finished seventh last year at 125. Gutierrez won another this year against rank wrestlers. And away we go from the Coliseum on this Monday afternoon. Got to be way better not having to wear that dang shoulder brace he was wearing last year. Out of way, Cardinal strikes loads, pouncing on hands and knees. See the officials there, Jason Rivera and Patrick Frank. If you're a guy like Cardinal who's had to wait a little longer than normal, are you more apt to strike first, do you think? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's mostly his style, right? He likes to, to be on aggressive and go at people. And and uh, if that's who you are, then that's who you got to be. I mean, that's how... Coach Flynn is trying to train his guys to be is to is to be like that and and to really take it to the other the, the opponent wherever he happened to be wrestling at the moment. Now he hasn't been just waiting an hour or two. He's been waiting several months. <laughs> but his last match was was um, nationals. his nationals, right? Yeah. They are glad to have him back. Well, Colton Drusius wrestled really well in his place. Gutierrez is in on a nice shot, and he's a little long, so he's got an opportunity. He's trying to stay locked in there, but nice job of uh, the wizard by Cardinal, and we get a stalemate. Two veteran guys. Cardinal is fifth year, and Gutierrez is sixth. There's Tim Flynn, the head coach of the Mountaineers, in his fourth season. Yeah, this will be the only year we'll say that, right? Somebody in their sixth year? Well, the only year... At least with COVID as the factor, yeah, every once in a while right. you get a guy with a medical red medical shirt. Medical red shirt. Cardinal in on a single leg and holds on to that ankle. It's going to get himself that two-point takedown. Gutierrez tried to tried to kick out, wasn't able to do it. Looking for more, driving the head into the shoulder. Two points, Altenears. And Gutierrez, a guy who dominated his first match today against Logan Heil of Cleveland State. In a tricky spot of this one, down to nothing. Yeah, he didn't even, I don't even think he was threatened to take down there. But here's a nice shot. You see, uh, really trying to hold on to the leg, finds a way to uh, to stay tight and, and work his way up his body to get the two-point takedown. One thing you appreciate from that replay is the Cardinal didn't even grab the hip all the way with the left hand. He just pulled whatever he could and took him down. <laughs> Sometimes that's what you're looking for is a... Is a is a handhold someplace, right? Tough spot for Gutierrez. 30 seconds left in the first, or coming up on 30 seconds left. Well, Cardinal does a nice job of of, of countering the Gutierrez. Did a nice job of getting to his feet, and Cardinal like sort of reshot that a little bit. Pop the leg up in the air, takes him back down. He can't stay there very long, but did a good job of returning him to the mat so he didn't risk a warning for stalling. No small accomplishment for Gutierrez to avoid having his leg swept either. Well, and right here, your Cardinal, okay, now he goes down to the ankle. You're going to get that count, but we want to ride the period out. Gutierrez is obviously trying to get a state before the period, but Cardinal executes a little bit better there. So if you're Cardinal, this is kind of the perfect way to start the match. You, you, This is your first match back. You get a takedown about midway through the first period. You spend the whole time on top, uh, which allows you to, to not have to expend as much energy as the person on the bottom. We'll get a caution on top. I'm... <laughs> Cardinal's like, what, me? I'm not sure why. I don't know if he moved slightly. I wasn't... Obviously, he must have moved slightly or he wouldn't get a caution. He was off with a whistle right there. 
No chance for Gutierrez to get up. Pretty good career mark for Killian Cardinal, as you see. The old Dominion transfer. Both of these guys, two-time NCAA qualifiers. Cardinal is doing a nice job on top, right, of making sure that he maintains... Uh, He's got a nice tight waist, and he's just kind of riding the tight waist and an opportunity to head and arm. He's looking for those tilts as much as possible. And well, we've been talking about driving with the legs a lot out of the heavyweights. If you were watching earlier when Cleveland State was wrestling Chattanooga, but I really think Cardinal's leg driving here in this second round has been on par. He's just done a nice job to drive. Well, you know, and that's that's part of the issue. I mean, most of what you're going to do on top is is going to be a lot of hip pressure, and you create that by by using legs. Now, this time, Cardinal sort of doesn't do a very good job of following. Oh, we got a potentially dangerous thing coming up here, I would guess. Going to rip his knee out. Cardinal put himself in a bad spot. How did he do it, Tony? Everybody's in a bad spot here. Yeah. I, I don't know why we're still wrestling. The only thing that happens there is somebody breaks something. Right foot on green. Right. Right, right hand on yellow. <laughs> yeah, that only uh, that was much less comfortable than Twister. Now that stuck in my head. My niece got Twister for Christmas this year. <laughs> really? Did you just say that on the air before Christmas? Oh, she opened it already. She oh, it okay. Weekend. All right. All right. Okay. I cannot believe that you would have given that away like a week before. <laughs> Like Adam Schefter of the North Pole, I know the, uh, I know what's coming before it comes. Breaking news. Well, breaking news. Killian Cardinal is back, and he's back with a vengeance, Tony. Well, he's staying on top really well, and he's doing a lot of great riding here. He's got two minutes and 48 seconds of riding time with 29 seconds left in the period. Now he definitely wants to stay on top and finish this period on top. See if he can get a tilt if he can. Making Gutierrez work incredibly hard on the bottom. The crowd has filed in today on this Monday afternoon. And now the two WVU matches of the try are underway. Killian trying to get that left knee around. He's got 15 seconds left. Just really trying to keep pressure forward and make Gutierrez put his weight on his hands. And you can see that he can't, can't push back into him very well. He's burying his head down, so he can't get his head up. And Gutierrez is going to be content to kind of sit there and ride the rest of the period out. Cardinal with uh, three minutes and 17 seconds of riding time going into the third. Approaching hours on the Tony O'Clock. Yes, you can call it an hour. You can put the point on the board, right? Just in my quick math in my head, if you've got three minutes and 17 seconds with a two-minute period, you're still going to end up with over a minute, even if you spend the whole time on a map which he did not do. There's going to be a reversal. Two points, West Virginia. Tony, you know, Cardinal is a quick guy. I just don't recall this kind of quickness from him last season. Health and maybe a little bit extra juice because it's the first time out. Well, I think health is definitely an issue. You know, he, he had a, a shoulder issue for most of the year and, and kind of fit, battled through it as being All-American, even with that challenge. And, uh, you know, it took him a while to sort of get a good rhythm as the year goes on. I know he didn't start out as well as he wanted to, but he obviously finished incredibly well. So 4-1. Still, you want to be your Cardinal. You, you want this takedown. You want to end up on, the, on, the, on top. Gutierrez does a nice job of, of trying to do some attacks, too. What's Killian trying to do with the arm stuff here? Uh, he's just trying to give him something else to look at, see if he's going to, you know. You, you said something about Cobras in the first match, right? So <laughs> look at that. Nice job with the takedown there. Good attack, good, good pressure. Pretty sharp. It's the stuff you would, you would expect from your guy who was an All-American the year before and he's coming out and wrestling well at the front end of this year, even though he's been a little delayed in the, in the recovery process. Whether he distracted him or not, he definitely 
pounce on an opportunity to score. Cardinal with oceans of riding time, and he's going to get an impressive win in his first time out here in 2021. So Killian Cardinal with a win over Fabian Gutierrez, getting a win and one over a ranked wrestler. Cardinal. That's a nice shot. Yeah, just a good shot and a nice job of staying on, staying with it. And here's the reversal. He just does a little hip out and then attacks him right off the bat.